Hey guys, this is Natalie from Treasures of Many. Um, today we're going to be making this really cute Thanksgiving card. So, this is one that I made before, um, and we're going to make the new one just a little bit different. I got some new stamps from Stampin' Up, and I want to use the new leaves that I got in my new stamp set. Started. First, you're going to need a piece of cardstock, and this happens to be baked brown sugar and it needs to be cut at four and a quarter by 11 inches. Um, the other measurements I have on here are where we're gonna score it later. I don't normally write on here, but I thought I would give it a try um, while doing a video. We're gonna cover them up anyway, so I think it'll be okay. Next, we're going to take, we're gonna take a piece of cardstock. This is called Hello Honey. And our measurements for this is going to be five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And then the next two pieces are the exact same size and they are two and five eighths by four and one eighth. Next, we're going to get a piece of Blackberry Bliss, and we're going to need it at two and five eighths by three inches. And then last, we're going to use some Whisper White cardstock, and we're going to be cutting three pieces from this one. And the first one will be four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. Next piece will be two and one fourth by two and five eighths. And the next one will be two by three and five eighths. All right, so now we're going to get out our scoreboard and we're going to score our cardstock at two and three quarters. and five and a half. And now we're going to fold forward the score line at five and a half. It would be almost just folding the card in half, just like it would be a normal card. But then we're gonna fold it back at the two and three quarter score line. I'm gonna burnish those down with my bone folder. And then the card will open like this. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so let's start putting some of the panels together. We're going to take the, the Hello Honey, that the biggest piece we have, and I'm going to use... Um, this Tombow Mono multi-purpose multi glue. Um, I call it the green top glue. It's just easier. My family knows what I'm talking about when I say that. We're going to glue it down to the bigger space on our card. And now I'm also going to glue the other two pieces down on the other two row flaps. And because we folded it in half and in half again, they are exactly the same size. I use the Tombow glue more than anything that I have. I think that it's faster and I just prefer doing it that way. You don't need much though. I've noticed a lot of people use a lot. It's not necessary. So now when we have the card open, you can see all three panels, and we're not going to glue in the larger white panel because we're going to stamp on that, and we want to stamp it first. But this panel right here, we can go ahead and glue down because this will be the spot where you can write um, your message. And we can also go ahead and glue down the Blackberry Bliss piece. And you want to make sure that the the three inch side is going up and down, the taller side. Also want to make sure that you don't glue it completely down onto the other piece of cardstock. 
Okay, we're going to be using two stamp sets from Stampin' Up! today. I'm going to be using Lovely as a Tree, but I'm only going to use this little leaf right here. And then I'm also going to use the stamp set called Flower Patch. And in this stamp set, I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to use this greenery piece. And I think I'm going to use the this leaf and the smaller leaf right up here. Right now, the Flower Patch actually comes in a bundle with the, um, die framelits as well. So I took a piece of scratch paper and I just cut out um, the two leaves from the with my Big Shot and I'm going to use those as a mask. Okay so let's get started. I'm going to use this first leaf and I am using pumpkin pie and I'm not doing this in any specific way. Wow that's really pretty. And I'm going to wipe my stamp off. And I think the next color I'm going to use, I think I'll use Hello Honey. Yeah, let's use Hello Honey. And you'll see where I'm going to use the little leaf as a mask that I cut out. I'm just going to lay it kind of right over the top of it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And if you just lay it down real carefully, it'll stay. And I'm just going to stamp it. Now, if you're wondering, I have the clear stamp on one side and the little um, tiny leaf on the other side if you were wondering. Um, so now I'm going to take Blackberry Bliss and I'm going to do a Blackberry Bliss leaf and I'm using the same piece as a mask again. And once again I'm just going to lay it on there where I want it, figure out where I want my leaf and stamp straight down and straight and pull straight up. Um, let's do it this way. Here we go. They're looking really pretty. I think I'll do one more pumpkin pie leaf. And I'm not going to worry about putting the mask over it because the Blackberry Bliss is so dark, I really don't think it'll show up. So, but we're going to find out. Let's see. I think I'm going to do this one like right here. And it didn't. When that dries, it'll pretty much be the same color. So now I'm going to take um, the mask again and put it down because I'm going to come in with my greenery stamp now and I'm using Old Olive right now. I'm also going to stamp the first one and then I'm also going to do a lot of first and second generation stamps. If you can see some of them are lighter and some of them are darker. I'm also using Mossy Meadow as well and I'm not doing anything particular I'm just doing what I think looks pretty and I'm just going back and forth and when I decide that I want one to look like it's coming from behind it I grab my mask piece and I use it and I think I'm going to finish going around but I'm barely touching with these and as you can see I'm not even inking my stamp each time and on that side, I used all of the um, old olive. Now I'm going to take my Wink of Stella clear. Um, and I'm just, as you can see, I'm just kind of randomly going in there. It just gives it a little bit of shine that I really like. And sometimes I can get really carried away with this. Um, only I've only noticed with the Blackberry Bliss that it'll pick up a little bit on the tip, but you can just wipe it right off. Now I have a light green wink of Stella. It's a, and I'm just going to go over a little bit of the greenery, just touching it here and there, just to give it a little bit of shine. And I'm really concentrating over the second generation ones, just kind of they're lighter, but then it also gives it a little shine. Like I said, I can get really carried away with this. I love these things. <laughs> I'm also going to get my clear back and as you can see I'm just randomly going all over the white area. I'm not getting in all of the nooks and crannies and I'm not going in the same direction. I'm just giving it a little shine. Now we're going to get our last small white piece that's going to go in the front and I'm going to we're going to stamp Happy Thanksgiving in Blackberry Bliss. 
This is not a Stampin' Up! stamp. This is one that I had before I even discovered Stampin' Up! So, but I, I don't have a Happy Thanksgiving in my Stampin' Up! collection yet. I will soon, I hope. That's really pretty. Okay, now we're going to... This is a little trick I like to do. I like to take my ink pad and I just barely set my edges down on it. And it'll soak up. And if you let it there longer, it'll soak up even more. But I like to do it just to give it a little bit of edge. And I don't <coughs> like to rub it because then it'll come up on it, which is cool because, I mean, that's a good texture. But I just want it to be a line. Um, and I also want to do that to the other piece as well. So I'm going to get it out here and just tap it along where it cuts out or where it gets to where I like. And I just think that makes a big difference. So now we're going to use that little tiny leaf that was from Lovely as a Tree. And I'm using Hello Honey right now. And I'm just going to randomly stamp around the outside of the image with the Hello Honey. I am doing second and third generation stamps with it. As you can see, I'm not dipping it back in the ink each time. I'm using um, Pumpkin Pie right now. And now some Blackberry Bliss. This is so pretty that I think I'm going to actually put some on these leaves right here to give it some texture. This is a last minute decision, so we'll see. And I'm still using the Blackberry Bliss, the Hello Honey, and the Pumpkin Pie. And I really like that. I think it, I think it added exactly what it needed. Okay, we're done with our stamping. So now we're going to get our card base back out and we're going to attach our pieces. Well, I actually know we're not done with our stamping. <laughs> with the same little leaf and with the Hello Honey, we're going to do some tone on tone stamping around this edge. So the cardstock is Hello Honey and the ink is Hello Honey. And I'm just turning it and twisting it and just barely tapping it down. And there we have it. So now we'll put it together. And I'm using the green top blue again. And remember, like I said, it doesn't take much at all. I see a lot of guys on YouTube putting a whole lot of this on there, and you really don't need that much at all. We're going to center this over a bigger space on our card. I'm using my cutting mat to kind of help me get it straight. I also like to use the Tombow because you can see I'm able to move it around a little bit before it's like completely there. It's really pretty. Okay, now we're going to take our other piece, the Happy Thanksgiving piece, and I'm going to pop it up on some dimensionals. I probably should have used some bigger ones, but these were there. So... And I'm going to stick this center over the Blackberry Bliss piece. All right. Now my other card had a little bow on it, but I have some really cute Thanksgiving buttons. So I'm going to pick out a different button and I'm going to do a button instead. So I put a glue dot on the back of it and stuck it down and there we have it here's our little thanksgiving card thanks so much guys for watching and remember you can visit me at www.treasuresofmini.com and on facebook at treasures of many give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i can't wait to make another card with you bye